Our work is on the connectivity between marine systems and terrestrial systems, and the coastline is sort of that threshold that they cross. We do a lot of work with seabirds, which nest on land and then feed in the ocean. And so there's a lot of chemical movement, there's physical movement between those two environments. But we've got a new and, and active program working with uh, both government and private industry, in this case Adventure Canada, doing at-sea monitoring of bird distributions, um, getting people onto uh, expedition cruise ships. So I'm very excited about that because not only does it give the students a great opportunity to get to places they've never been before, in this case the Arctic, but it's giving us data that we've never been able to get before as conservation people trying to figure out what habitats are key for birds in the Arctic and trying to figure out how climate change and new industries affecting those now. Here I think the connection between the, uh, the researchers, the, the instructors and the, the students really is what makes it. It makes you feel like you're a group working towards uh, a goal. So the financial support is seed money to allow me to go out and uh, uh, get other funding and then certainly uh, the reduced teaching load allowing me to focus on students is a huge benefit of the Canada Research Chair position. I live and die by collaboration frankly. Uh, I came from government uh, to the university so I still maintain active collaborations with a lot of people in uh, a couple of government departments, notably Environment uh, and Climate Change Canada. So we work a lot there on, on common uh, concerns of uh, conservation. Uh, obviously I do more on the research side and then my colleagues often do more on sort of the policy or implementation of what our research shows. Uh, which is a, a fantastic model, I think, of being able to get things done. Since I've been at Acadia, we've done quite a bit of work uh, with industrial partners. So uh, Bathlands is a mining company, so we're doing some work on bird movements into shipping lanes in the Arctic, which is supported in part by them and my tax. And then we collaborate a lot with Ducks Unlimited Canada here in uh, the Maritimes. They're very active um, at uh, wetland creation, and we're doing a lot of work on trying to optimize how to create wetlands for wildlife. I'm uh, Mark Mallory, I'm a Canada Research Chair here at Acadia University and I focus on coastal wetland ecosystems.